What's going on, everybody? So today we're going to talk about game launchers for Steam using your Stream Deck. Let's get to it. All right. I've already set up most of these, so what we're going to do is actually play with Final Fantasy, right? Um, I already have a custom folder set up for all of my other RPGs that I have, but we're going to actually set this up so that way we can create a game launcher, and I'll show you what I mean. So the first thing I want to do is create a folder because of all these little shortcuts on my desktop, and I don't want them there. I've already backed them up and saved them to a game what is it, a uh, folder called games? That way, if I need to come back to it, I can, and all of my shortcuts are there. Now, I save everything to an external hard drive. The reason why I do this is I run a Mac Mini. It runs Boot Camp, so I'm limited on space. Steam usually recommends that you install on your C drive, but I've actually installed mine on my F drive, which is my one or two terabyte solid state drive. Well, let's get to it. We've created a folder. Now, this is a folder as well, but I've set up an icon for my folder. So I'm going to go to Set from File. And what we're going to do is go to my F drive because I save everything here. I'm going to go to my Stream folder because this is where I save everything. Um, I'm going to go to Animated Clarity Icons, Full RGB, Normal, and this Stream Deck icon pack is actually made by Nerd or Die. It is the RGB one. Um, there is normal, non-RGB as well. It is included in this pack, and it's not that much money. But what I'm doing is looking for the little game folder icon that I uh, have here. Here we go. So I'm going to select open, and it's going to set up the folder for me. I want to title this. Okay. Okay, cool. And what I'm going to do is title it FF, short for Final Fantasy. I happen to love RPGs, and Final Fantasy is a close second for me on my favorite franchise. The Legend of Zelda series is actually number one for me, y'all. All right, so from here, we're going to go to Systems. Now, with Steam, it's a little different. Instead of you doing Open, I mean, you could essentially do that. You could go to Properties, you could copy it. But the reason why I'm doing web instead of an application is because this is running through a Steam URL. But I'm gonna show you what happens when you do it under an application under Open. So right here, I mean right here. <laughs> All right, and what I'm gonna do is click it. Now, on my Stream Deck, I see a little caution symbol. So this is not working. This is no bueno. No bueno means not good. But if I copy the URL and paste it here, I'm gonna actually set up an icon folder too. On your C drive, I'm going to my F drive because that's where my Steam folder is. But on your C drive, you can go to Steam. It'll probably be under your programs and files. But you can go to Steam. You're going to click on Steam again, go to Games, all your icons that are on your desktop will be here. And when I say desktop, I mean the shortcuts that are right here with the icons. This is where you're going to go. So this is Final Fantasy 1, Pixel Remaster. So there's my game. That's how I know what game it is. I'm going to launch it. And that's how you know that it's working. I did not click on anything except for my stream deck. And there's the game. So for those who are trying to figure out how to set up Steam and wanting to make sure that it works. Oh, <laughs> how do I um, get out of this for right now? We'll go back. There we go. Let's minimize big picture mode right now. <laughs> All right. So this is how you're going to make sure that your Steam shortcuts are working through your Stream Deck. Now, if you're wanting to be like me, where you want to do like an increased workflow, and we're going to go ahead and right-click copy. Now, at the f you can paste or Control-V, 
or you can control C to copy and control V. And you would just basically do the same thing for the next one. You would go to properties. You would copy the URL. You're going to paste the URL here. You're going to set from file. If you've already navigated to where your icons are, it'll already pull up the folder that you were previously in. But this is where your icon folder will be. So we're going to go ahead and look for Final Fantasy II's little icon. It's this dude right here. And this is the pixel remaster. Not all of my stuff is installed yet because I had to actually move my uh, Steam folder from my local drive to my external drive. Steam does not recommend that, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not worried about it. I have enough hard drive space on my solid state drive that's external than I do the internal. So it'll still work for me just the same. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing for the third one. Properties, copy the URL, paste the URL here, set from file. Now we're gonna look for the little onion knight. There he is. We're gonna select okay. And then this is gonna be our shortcut. So do we need these anymore? No. Oh, I do need that folder. <laughs> Sorry, I minimized a few things here just to show you this video. But I don't need to save those because I've already backed them up. Now, if I wanted to transfer them from my games folder that I have saved up for shortcuts to my desktop, I could. But what would be the purpose of that if I'm saving everything to my stream deck? Now, if you want to save all of your progress, basically, I'm going to go to settings, I'm going to go to profile, and I'm going to export. And this will automatically export it to where I have everything saved. So I'm going to click on save. Yes, I wish to replace. That way, I've backed up my profile. So for example, something goes weird and I have to install, uninstall, and then reinstall, I'm going to do so. Now for those who want to do application specifics, Tribes of Midgar actually has some nice little hotkeys or shortcuts. So we could go here. We could go to application type. We could go to other. No, oh, that's my other drive. We're going to go to my F drive. Now, I know where my game is, right? So we're going to go to Steam. Oh, where is it? Hmm, Steam apps, common. And we're going to look for Tribes of Midgar. There's the file. Oh, what's in here? Oh, we don't need to worry about that. This is the exe. This is what we want. We're going to select OK. So when we launch the application for Tribes of Midgar, this will essentially pop up. So what I'm going to do is actually do that. Tribes of Midgar is actually installed, so we can, we can do this. Now that it's launched, it should essentially take me to my Stream Deck profile, and it has not done that yet. A little worrisome. Hmm. I guess that'll be the next thing that I'm working on. <laughs> but essentially, it's supposed to switch once you open the application, so I'm not sure why it didn't take me directly to the profile. That is a bit unusual. Wait, how do I quit? All right, well, there's more than one way to do this. So as you can see, it did not take me to Tribes of Midgar, but that's essentially what will pop up. I mean, I can always navigate through my stream deck by doing um, a profile. So this is the other thing I wanted to talk about in case it doesn't do something like that. You can always go to switch profile and route it. So in, this, in other words, I could route this to my main default and it'll take me back to my default. 
If I go here, that takes me to tribes of Midgar. And when I say here, I'll go ahead and point it out for you. Right here. If I click on this, it takes me to my profile, tribes of Midgar. So I'm able to navigate either way, whether I'm on uh, my stream deck in-game in or not. Oh, okay, well, it wasn't supposed to do that. That just randomly showed up. We're gonna minimize this again. Anyways, we're gonna go back to home. We're gonna go back to my game launcher folder. We're gonna come back here. And as I mentioned, if you're wanting to set it up, you wanna make sure that you're doing it under systems, website, because we're launching a URL. We're gonna copy the URL from the properties. We're gonna paste it, and then we're gonna set up our icon. And it's that simple. Hey everybody. I totally forgot to show you something. Uh, there is a way to do it through open on the application. So I'm adding a little quick tip here. There we go, okay. I actually had to redo this video because I forgot to uncover everything. So let's go ahead and start here. So from open, right? So we're gonna go to our systems. We're gonna go ahead and select on open. Instead of the website, like I showed you, this is the website one. This is actually the application one. So the difference is you're launching the URL directly from the shortcut, but this one right here under open, you can actually use the shortcut. Now in my case, I have all of my shortcuts saved to this folder right here. So what I'm gonna do is look for the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster, and I can actually use the shortcut as an application launcher. I'm gonna set this file so that way I know what game I'm launching. Okay, here we go. Go to my F drive, go to Steam. And then what I need to do is look for my icons folder. Steam, games, there we go. So that's gonna be the icon. This is going to be the application as a shortcut. Not, not the URL, it's labeled as a URL, but it's actually the shortcut file. You can set the shortcut file up to do this. I forgot to show you all this because there was three methods through Steam and I forgot about the other two. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. All right, so every time that you launch a game, at least in big picture mode, it takes you back to big picture mode. All right, let's go to open again, drag and drop from your systems. But this time we want to go ahead and add the application directly. So I'm gonna go to Steam, oh wait, that's not, I'm, I'm on the C drive, nope. All my stuff is on the F drive. So I'm gonna go to Steam. I'm gonna look for Steam apps. I'm gonna go to Common, cause this is where all the games are. And then I'm gonna look for Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. Here's the EXE file. This is actually the actual application. So you can launch the application directly, which means you don't have to set up the icon file. It's already set up for you. So we can go ahead and click on it on our stream deck. It's highlighted in blue, just so that way you all can see it. But once I tap it on my stream deck, it's gonna launch the game as well. So I wanted to correct myself. There are three different methods to set this up. Now I don't use, ah, that drives me crazy. All right, let's go ahead and minimize that again. I don't use these because I went through the URL method and I prefer it that way. That way I don't have to go in there and literally fish for every single um, exe file. I mean, you could do that if you wanna take the time to do so, but I just copied the shortcuts URL, pasted everything in and prefer to launch it through the, the URL so I did mine through the website. It works that way for me. But if you prefer to copy and, and drag and drop the shortcut folder, you can. Or if you prefer to go into the folder and open up the application directly, 
you can do that as well. To do the shortcut or to do the application, you will use open. If you're like me, where you just prefer to copy the URL, you can do website and do it that way. Thanks again for your time. If you liked the video, don't forget to like that button and subscribe. Until next video, you all have a wonderful evening. Again, thank you for your time and you take care.